Hello out in YouTube land and the great ether that we call the Internet of the World Wide Web. Greetings. This time I'm going to talk to you about something that is near and dear and also a necessity for all of us. Transportation. We need to have transportation to get to and from to work, to school, to other places to go, to take up and pick up our children, to move around. The freedom of movement is something that is near and dear to all of us here in the United States. And of course for this there are many modes of transportation to get around. Public transportation, cabs, or just hitching a ride with somebody, but of course these days that's really not all that safe. Um, the major thing is though, even though public transportation in some areas is very extensive, it still does not go everywhere that you need to go, and also not at the times at which you need to go there. Some transportation systems are only open for certain times of the day and late night they just simply don't run and if you have to get out and go you gotta get a cab Of course they have cab alternatives now which I hear are quite nice but still you have to get a cab the most simple and easiest way to do it is what a lot of people do and that's to acquire an automobile the problem there is cars are expensive very expensive and some people pay for a car monthly or let me rephrase that their monthly car expense is more or equal to their home expense a place where they can keep a roof over their head and that's simply ridiculous in this talk we have an interesting proposal for you instead of paying ten fifteen twenty thousand dollars for an automobile how about embark on a new way of thinking and consider the possibility of purchasing a very good quality and good condition used vehicle to get where you need to go. Of course, some of us are driving used vehicles now out there, you know, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 plus year old vehicles. Some people out there are very frugal, and to you folks, I salute you because I am one of those also. I don't believe in paying a car note. I think it's ludicrous to pay several hundred dollars a month plus full coverage insurance on a vehicle, something that is depreciating every day and by every mile that you use it. It is clearly a depreciating asset. If I'm going to spend that kind of money, I would like an asset that appreciates, in other words, gains in value. But getting back more to the subject, there are avenues in which you can acquire a perfectly good and safe and presentable used vehicle between the prices of 400 and fifteen hundred dollars which will take you where you need to go comfortably safely and in the most dignified manner we ain't talking no hoopties out there we're talking a pretty nice vehicle it's just in how to be creative on where to go to acquire it even though the vehicle may cost four hundred to twelve hundred dollars or maybe a little bit more fifteen hundred two thousand or somewhere there it's going to be an inexpensive car compared to the cost of vehicles today however if you were to see the vehicles you couldn't tell that they were that cheap it all comes from information and I'm here to give you information on how to do things so that you have a good quality of life there are different places that you can go some of them you know about others that you simply don't and I'm gonna tell you about one special place maybe two 
that have vehicles for sale that are very nice and you can acquire them for very cheap. Let's go with the ones that you know about first. Or, well, you may not know that people go to them to acquire vehicles. One place that you can go that's really big is Craigslist. And, well, before I even get into the ones that we know about, I'm going to discuss how you search on the Internet at these sites for these vehicles that cost these low amounts of money because they have very expensive vehicles on Craigslist really expensive just like car dealers in fact some car dealers advertise on Craigslist but the key here is in knowing how to search for things on the internet and knowing the particular search keys to put in on Craigslist just like many of the sites that I'm about to talk to you about they have a search mode and you go to the automotive vehicle section and one thing I do when I go to Craigslist I go to the vehicles by owner section and the reason why I'm biased to that is because you go to a dealer section they're gonna have a vehicle marked up it might be a marginal vehicle that they're gonna have for very cheap if you go to a private seller people sell vehicles for all different reasons being you know being a private seller and they, they they need the money it could be somebody who's passed on and they obviously don't need a vehicle if they passed on and sometimes the heirs don't want the vehicle I remember that was a situation with me when uh, my parents passed on and they had a number of vehicles and I had no need for all the vehicles so I sold them I also have people who are in situations where they need money they might want to go back to school they might have a pressing bill they might want to put their children in private school they might want to just simply downsize and get rid of the vehicle they have perfectly good vehicles out there another interesting thing is it might be somebody who's elderly where their physical condition prohibits them from being able to drive anymore or drive safely so they sell their vehicle you've heard the term a vehicle from a little old lady that drove to church on Sundays well I guess that would fit probably in that that uh, school of thought but anyway there are many good safe attractive vehicles that are out there that can be had for a very reasonable price that do not fit the description and the stigma a lot of people have for quote used cars and now some dealers have tried to dress up that by saying pre-owned vehicles okay now getting back to the search key once you get to the Craigslist cars by owner section they have a situation where you look for vehicles and the key is just simply entering in the price my favorite search key for Craigslist and many other sites out there with our, which I share with you in a moment is searching for between four hundred and fifteen hundred dollars for the car and I put the thing on large icons or large pictures so that I can be presented with a whole array of pictures to see what they look like and I only search for ads with vehicles that have pictures so that I can evaluate them quickly and make a decision I even have an app on my phone that will alert me towards new people who put cars on Craigslist because good deals go fast and you gotta be Johnny on the spot with cash to go and get these types of deals but we'll discuss that in a second too about dealing with cash and private owners once you locate the car and you can evaluate a lot of the cars the things that I look for there in bad deals to pass up are people that have cars that won't run needs an engine needs a transmission smokes knocks they have things down that says in great condition but presently do not run what are you gonna do with a car that doesn't run I mean go sell it for junk don't put it on Craigslist and try to sell it to somebody well I'll take that back a lot of people buy cars for parts a lot of people who have shops buy junk cars and kinda of carve them up and use the parts off it's cheaper than going to the dealer to buy cars but for the rest of us who are looking for a car out there 
Don't insult our intelligence by putting junk cars up there, assuming it's a drivable car. All kind of crazy, idiotic excuses I've seen out there for people trying to pawn off junk for cars. Pass those up. If necessary, text them and say, are you kidding? I mean, really? Are you? Well, I don't even want to get into it. As you can see, it kind of upsets me because this is my major avenue for searching for vehicles is these are these sites. The things that I do look for are people who say excellent condition, runs good, uh, need to sell by Thursday, bring cash, have title in hand, and trust me, you want a car that where the owner has the title in hand. And a word about titles. You need to have somebody who has the title with them. The title needs to be in their name and you need to check their ID to make sure that they are the same person that has the title. There are lots of unscrupulous people out there who might go and get a friend's or relative's car get their hands on the title, forge their signature on the title and sell the car to you and then collect the money. Of course, when the person discovers their car is gone, they're going to call the cops or the police, shall we say. And they're going to report the car stolen. And then you're tooling around in your new car that you've purchased. You're all happy about buying the car and all that. And you notice lights behind you, flashing police lights behind you, and they pull you over. And of course, they'll ask for your license, proof of insurance, and all that good stuff, registration, all that. And uh, then they'll say those famous lines, Sir, ma'am, can you step out the vehicle? And of course, you're going to ask why. And they're going to tell you this vehicle was reported stolen. And guess who's going to jail because somebody stole somebody's title and sold a car to it? You are. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. You're going to go to jail. There are certain things that you have to do to protect yourself when you're buying anything. And one of them, especially uh, uh, an item of this magnitude, is a car where things are easily documented. Not going out to the corner buying a TV, a stereo, cell phone, something like that. Who knows if it's hot? You know, but we won't go into that. But a car, please, do your homework on the car. Now, Anyway, getting back to the situation there, the search key is what you need to go to. Another site that you might want to consider to buy a car of this nature between those price guidelines is eBay Motors. eBay Motors is an excellent place to buy a vehicle. I bought a $500 minivan from eBay Motors and it lasted me for years. Drove the snot out that thing. Drove all over the north, east, the south, the midwest, everywhere else. Not a lick of trouble. Very, had to do very little with it. And it was comfortable. Took me, my family, all that on vacation. And it rode even better because I wasn't spending any money for it. And uh, I took it. And once it stopped running the way it needed to run, it wouldn't run safely after years of good service, I sold it for junk for $250 so I only had $250 additional that I had for an outlay that was good and I got more than that in service I put tires on it I put uh, gas and oil in it and I think the major thing I had to have done to it uh, I had well regular brake jobs done on it and I had a wheel bearing put on it which was cheap because it was so easy I was able to do it myself out in the driveway very simple very easy maintenance car you need vehicles like that to get around in. Instead of paying several hundred dollars a month for a car note, two hundred dollars for uh, insurance, and then the maintenance and all that kind of stuff. That's foolishness. Uh, anyway, another good place to go is Backpage.com. These are excellent spaces to go get a garage because Backpage is very similar to Craigslist. You can get on there and find people who want to buy cars. And remember, when dealing with Craigslist, or going to a private seller, or, or or dealing with somebody who has a car in the driveway with a for sale sign on it. Take somebody with you when you go, because people like crazy out there, and you need to have somebody to watch your back. And if you don't know anything about cars, take somebody with you, 
in addition to somebody who can help you fight if you have to, take somebody with you that knows a little bit more about cars than you do so that you can get something that's going to give you good service and not be a pile of junk that you have to drag to the junkyard yourself. If you're smart about it, you can get a good ride and be happy with it. Now, the other place that I was going to talk to you about is a place that's very nice where you can get excellent, excellent cars, name brand, top drawer cars that are taken there by dealers and insurance companies for one reason or the other. Of course, some of them are accident damage cars, and of course, you don't want those. Leave those to the guys with the body shops and the car shops and all that type of thing. But you have other cars that are there because they have hail damage, uh, maybe a bad paint job, a uh, few other things that might be wrong. Some cars uh, recover vehicles from auto thefts where minimal things that have to be done to it like replacing an ignition key. But the major thing I'm concentrating on are possibly hail damaged cars, cars who might need a paint job which could easily be buffed out with a little bit of rubbing compound and things like that. Uh, this this place has those and no matter where you live in the United States there's probably one of their dealer lots or one of their auction lots near you. In fact the place that I'm talking about is an auto auction. This one is a particular name brand auto auction. I'm not promoting them by any stretch of the imagination because they have many auto auctions around. Given the metro Atlanta area, there's one called Mannheim Auto Auction. Uh, I bought uh, cars from them a long time ago when they were merged with another auto auction called Bishop Brothers, which are not in existence. They've been morphed into Mannheim now and they've moved further to the metro area in the south. And uh, the major one that I'm talking about is called Copart, spelled C-O-P-A-R-T in the metro area. And all you have to do is Google Copart, C-O-P-A-R-T, uh, and you will find all of their locations in North America. And chances are one with, is within reasonable distance of you, and you can go. And they have it where you can join the site, and they have of course dealer only cars and they have public sell cars where they sell to the general public and you can get you very nice cars there name brand cars late model cars and by late model I mean like 2009 10 11 the same kind of pre-owned cars that you would get if you go to a dealer used car lot by going there you can get a nice vehicle that is presentable and you can possibly get something to go even if you want to go get a sideline like driving uber or lyft or something like that you can go get one of those vehicles there that would fit within their requirements you know nice presentable comfortable and uh or a good just good family car and you can pick up vehicles from these lots between 400 and 1500 dollars of course they have more higher price ones but you can get them from that Auto auctions, guy with the car in, in, on, in the yard, all these types of things. These are great places to go get vehicles of this nature. And best of all, you have a vehicle with no note and you can get your state minimum insurance coverage, which is no fault liability insurance. Of course, you might want to cover your own and get uninsured motors for the idiot who hits you who doesn't have insurance. And also, you might want to also add on medical payments in case they uh, injure you and you need to have somebody pay your doctor bill. Of course, if you're smart, you'll know a good lawyer and a good chiropractor to help you recover. <laughs> but that's another story in that also. But anyway, these are the places that you can go to acquire a good vehicle for very cheap. And you can cut out the dealer and their uh, commissions and their BS and that's what it is a bunch of crap once again and you know what my mantra is if you listen to some of my videos why pay money and why give people money who don't deserve your money when all the money that's going into their pocket is profit when you can acquire the same thing without going through them as the middleman and get a better quality and a higher quality vehicle or whatever 
without dealing with it. It's called having information and knowledge truly is power. And in these days, they consider knowledge the new wealth. Because if you don't know, you can't do. Thank you very much for listening to this video. If you thought this information was useful to you and will enhance your life and possibly help you get a vehicle when you thought that you could not afford a vehicle at all, please like and share this video with others. And of course, one other thing that I'm asking you to do is at the top of your YouTube browser bar, you'll see HTTP colon double slash YouTube and some other Greek letters there. That's the web page location of this video. Take your browser, highlight it, right click, copy, and go to Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, wherever you can go, and leave a message on Facebook Instagram or post or Pinterest or, or any of these social media things and say look this guy showed me how to get a car for cheap you can too take a look at his video post this they'll come back to this video they can listen to me mouth off about everything that I've told you so that they can get first-hand information from me and they can go do it too this is no secret you just need to have the proper information so that you can function and keep your money in your pocket instead of spreading it and putting it in other people's pockets and enriching them. I'm here to enrich you, not the fat cat car dealers and other people who are positioning themselves at the trough to try to suck up your resources. Spend your money on your own family and yourself. And if you don't have any loved ones there, Go spend it on your cat, your dog, your bird, your parakeet, or whatever kind of pet you might have. And if you don't have that, well, hey, spend it on yourself. Give it to charity. Put it away for your retirement or for a rainy day. And trust me, the rain will fall. Right now, as I'm talking to you, it's raining outside. Seriously, it's raining outside. Don't let it rain on you inside. Anyway, thanks for listening. Remember to like and share this video and we'll catch you next time with more interesting things about how to be a cheapskate. Thanks.